Hello everyone, welcome back again. Before I start today's video, remember to go check out Serena at 20. This is where I get all my daily news and all of the rotations and all things like that. So once again, the website is surrenderat20.net. Hello everybody and welcome back to the End of Snake. Today, it's the PvE patch. Yeah, so this is the championship patch and it's actually really, really small. Pathetically small. Hmm. But there is some interesting things that I will be covering, and yeah. So I'll leave the most important thing until the end, so let's do the boring stuff first. So first things first is icons. There's the whole world's icons now for all of the teams that have gone, like Pain Gaming, Fnatic, Origin, CLG, you know, TSM, you know, all them, you guys can most likely see them on the screen if I ever do that in the editing. So yeah, they're all there. And they will all be 250, like always. Plus, there'll be also something extra that these will give you. Within the game, instead of the champion mastery thing popping up above your head, it will actually now be your team's, well, the icon of the team's logo. Which is quite nice, and personally, I don't really care, to be honest, because I don't buy these. Because I kind of see them as a bit of a waste of monies. But, they're there, if you guys want them. The next thing is, as you guys should know, we have the icons for jungle creeps, or the jungle monsters. So we have, uh, at the moment, we have Gromp, uh, Baron, a Dragon, and I'm not sure if there's any others. I think that's all, uh, other than blue and red. But now we have four others, that's Wolves, uh, Krugs, Raptors, and Scuttle, and they, they look pretty nice. Nothing too fancy, but... What else can you expect? They're there, again, 250. RP, like always. Okay, so the next thing, there are two miscellaneous stuff I want to talk about. First of all is wards. They've added a new championship ward, which is awesome. Also, you can now recall on the Howling Abyss, which is really cool, to be honest. It's not really nothing that big, but now you can spam your recall on the bridge map. ARAM. Yay. Useful changes. Everybody wants this. And now, the biggest change in the entire game. The new skin. It wasn't much of a change, was it? So it's the new skin. It's the new latest championship skin. And that has been given to Callista. Now, I have some problems with this and yada yada yada. Just because I don't like the whole idea... That Callista is getting a blue skin, even though her base is already blue with armor, and the championship theme is blue with armor. So it's a bit wasted in my opinion, but hey, what are you gonna do? It's a new skin for it, it does look quite nice in game, so I'm not gonna complain too much. So, yeah, so as you guys should be able to see on screen now, I have I should be putting on the model what the actual skin is gonna look like in game. And it does look fairly nice. I still would say her base skin is a bit better in my opinion. Same for the Blood Moon skin. I think that one's a bit better than this. I think this is going to be her weakest skin she has out of the three. So, yeah. But hey, what are you going to do? It's a nice, at least Callista's getting a new skin. And now that actually just leaves Azia from last year who needs a skin, I think. Yeah. As he is the only one who doesn't have a skin from last year. So, maybe he'll be getting next patch. So, that marks the end of this patch. Small, isn't it? Hmm. Way too small. So, anyway, remember to do all of the normal YouTube stuff. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.